Today we're in Marin, the birthplace of mountain biking, and we're gonna ride the Hummingbird Trail with the Newhouse Metalworks team. We've got Daniel, Mac, and Nick Newhouse. Let's go have some fun on some epic trails. This is fun, we're gonna ride Hummingbird Trail, the trail that this frame was designed and named after. Nick's on a Hummingbird. Daniel's on a Solstice, the slacker, rowdier, hardtail. Both fantastic bikes with a lot of versatility, so you can ride them on the same trails, but they do have different flavors and different strengths. But it's just important to get out and ride with friends whatever bike you got. And if it's a new house, chances are good you'll be grinning. So beautiful in here. So good to be alive right now. This is so cool. I got the guy who welded my bike in front of me and the guy who designed it in CAD behind me following on the trail they designed it for. This is dream come true. Hard to recognize. Oh, how you doing? Doing good. So. Really good. Beautiful day. Awesome view of the bay. Nick was telling us this was a missile tower for defense. Pretty cool. This is so much steeper than it looks, friends. Oh. This is enough of a ramp. I could get this right to the sweet spot and just turn the whole thing into a curve. That's a pretty tight needle to thread without any of these stopping you and slowing you down. Yeah. And then your balance is kind of weird right here. What that, about, yeah, what but about But I do think right, like right here. Like right up here. Yep. There we go. A little nervous about bailing halfway up. Good pretty well. Yeah. More speed. So More steep. speed, yeah. More speed. Yeah. That was actually a pretty solid line. <laughs> yes. Oh. That was the line. That was beautiful. Yeah. There it is. Nicely done, Nick. Woo! Yeah! yeah nice. <laughs> so, we're gonna pick up some speed and there'll be a rut. Carve up or around it, but watch your head. Rolling in. Daniel, watch out. The right hander over a rise. So we rolled through here one day and there were a bunch of people that biked up and we're getting married. There's Mount Tam where Repack is and the birthplace of mountain biking and where you get ticketed for riding your mountain bike today. There's a hop off the right wall over a route up here. Yeah.
There's grip under the kitty litter. You just gotta find it. Yeah. Super fun. So this kind of trail system yeah. is like an inspiration for the hummingbird. That's awesome. Just because you can see how like you don't want to be here on a slack bike at all. No. So that's where this bike is really gonna light up, right? Is the way you can just like bend it around corners, not lose grip, even though they're loose and off camber. On an overly slack bike, you're making all these micro corrections with your core and just shifting your center of balance around. Because the steering's, it's not floppy, it's just a little floppier. Totally rideable. But at the end of a long day, you've ended up making so many micro corrections, you just get a little bit exhausted. A lot of people are riding bikes that are too slack for them. I'm sorry if I've perpetuated that. Where I live, I like slack bikes for really steep stuff, but out here, I'm riding this Hummingbird and not my Binary Maniac, which I also brought on the trip, because the Maniac's too slack for this type of trail. Not too slack, but this is by far the better bike for this trail. And that's why my bike consultation really focuses on where do you ride, what trails do you ride, what are you interested in, and it's important to be honest. Pick a bike that suits 95% of the trails you ride. Yeah, Daniel's fine on the solstice, but it takes a lot more micro movements and just little weird slow speed balance moves that aren't needed on a steeper head angle bike. This is Hummingbird Trail. This is what this baby was built for and built named for after. And so far, for. it's been my favorite, my favorite pick for the trail that we've ridden. There's no bike I'd rather have. Yep. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> There's still plenty of like really cool old school trails that a bigger bike doesn't make any sense on. That's such an important point because so many people are searching out the big stuff yeah. that they've kind of lost connection with the roots and that's okay. Not everybody has to love this, but there's a whole genre of trail riders like us out there that do love this and a hardtail like this is the perfect trail weapon. So you don't have to go big and send it huge and hit big jumps and gaps. You can if you want to, which is awesome. But part of the reason I make these videos is so people that are in this genre of riding know you're not alone. We love this type of riding and it's really good on a hardtail and you don't need to apologize for it. This is just pure, wonderful trail riding. If you're bored of your blues and greens, get a hardtail, they'll make them fun again. It's pretty fun following a hummingbird into hummingbird trail. I forgot about Poison Oak in Northern California. Hey, there's less exposure than Sedona and I'm okay with this. Oh, this is what mountain biking is all about. Oh man, this is good. Oh, there's a bridge. Yeah. Woo! Yeah magic carpet ride up here so good no bike I would rather be on right now Fast and wide. That? Not that wide. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. You all right? Yeah. What hurts the most? Oh, dude, I got my head good. Oh, yeah? Right into a root. Oh. I've uh, plowed. Like, get high <laughs> and go fast since I'm like, okay, I'll probably stay above this little railing the little whoop de whoop and then i'm like yeah mm, that's a different trail i'm like hey, yeah and i just kind of watch and then i was like oh yeah i'm doing something <laughs> uh there's a couple of like little shrulpy corners and a sketchy roll in up riding i love this stuff yeah Thank you so much for taking me out here.
Oh man, I love trail riding. This has been so much fun riding with the Newhouse crew on their home trails and finding out where this bike was designed. This is my number one hardtail pick for this type of trail. It's so much fun. Like I said, I've got my Binary Maniac in the truck. I didn't bring it because I knew the Hummingbird would be a better fit for this type of thing. It just goes to show how important it is to pick the right bike for your terrain, where you ride, what you like out of a ride. Slacker's not always better. Steeper's not always better. Just remember, geometry is far more than one number. And it's important to be honest with yourself about what type of trail you're going to be riding your bike on. And when you pick the right bike that's suited for the trails you ride, oh, it's just, just a match made in heaven. So much fun. This hummingbird was perfect for this Northern California terrain. Thanks for watching, everybody. There's a party in the mountains, and you're invited.